my god, Hotel Transylvania 3, when is it coming out? I super love this like little short movie that kind of played in the emoji movie and it was part of that and then, you know there was like these two other idiots you know running around in this world whatever but that short was fucking awesome okay so i'm waiting for um hotels around the when is it coming out man wait it's not part of the emoji movie is this the emoji movie and, and then like go into the emoji movie somehow you know so it's just about those two idiots that ran around the phone oh wow uh, so uh yeah not a good movie not a good movie listen if you have a guy who, you know, is scared of like telling a girl his feelings or a significant other, whatever, you got me. Because I, I relate to that, you know, I've been through that, you know, I, I, I like that kind of storyline and, you know, even at the ending, I was kind of getting some feels because, you know, it was... You know, it's the generic romance, yes, okay, yes, but, you know, I was like, yeah, okay, I kind of got to know more about them than I got to know about Alex and his girl, you know, like, even the main boy, Alex, you know, because he's the human uh, version, obviously, um... I didn't really remember his name until like I kind of googled it and I was like oh okay that's his name alright Alex that's easy to remember but you know the the girl's name like I'm just like oh what's her name as well and they make a joke about that in the movie like when they go to the firewall and you see that in the, the trailers as well but after that the, the high five character is like well I did see the, the message to um, this girl, and then, um, TJ Miller's like, oh, oh, really, like, what, what, what's it about, man? And then the, the high five is like, well, I, I can't really remember, man, uh, uh, you know, uh, Allison, um, Abby, uh, I don't know, starts with an A. And, uh, you know, finally the hacker girl who turns out to be the princess, spoilers, I guess, um, <laughs> you give a shit. Nobody cared in this movie, okay? Um, you know, it's like, oh, it's Eddie. And I was like, oh, right. That's her name. <laughs> like, legitimately, nobody cared in this movie. Like, it's supposed to be like a mesh between, like, the computer world and the phone world, which is, like, a lot of people are going to be like, yes, you know, phones are many computers these days. But, like, I'm just like, why are trolls hanging out in the 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 pri privacy place like it should be when when you go like they went into the youtube world and i was like you could have had trolls there like in the comment section or whatever like you know you could have done something funny there and there is some parts which are legitimately funny and some parts which are stupidly funny which i was like okay you know even stupidly funny i i still gotta take what i can get um but there is not a single shit given in this movie. I know there's a shit emoji in emoji in this movie, but nobody cared. Nobody thought to to put an emotional tether to this, you know, emoji world. Okay, all we see is the emoji world, and that's fine. Okay, but you know, we then we didn't need to have uh, the 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 main characters you know double mirror thingy like that's what they were trying to do but they, they, they didn't do it well like I think if we had more interaction with Alex and the girl or Alex and his friends or Alex and the stock bullies whatever that would have been great you know maybe they decide to hang out and you know play a multiplayer game or something and then it goes into the emoji movie like emoji world I can't stop saying emoji movie for some strange reason, but like 
You see, my stupid ideas are making more sense. Like, you know, when they're, they're playing like a multiplayer game and it goes into the game and then like the emojis are trying to, to get them back to like, you know, WhatsApp or, you know, their sleepovers and, you know, the, a lot of people are on the phone and, you know, they're just texting each other instead of talking to each other. You know, you can play off of that. Like, if you're, if you're gonna be witty about millennial subtext be more witty with millennial subtext like there is no one option that would have made this movie worse than it already is and there's a part in this movie that I legitimately thought it was dark but I was like yeah it wasn't fully dark enough for me like I mean like there was a part where you know he's deleting the Just Dance app and uh, the, the world is crumbling down whatever and you know Christina Aguilera's character is kind of falling down I'm like well you could have had her like being kind of deleted slash transported into the trash and that would have been somewhat more dark and more interesting but they didn't do that like you only hear her say oh no I just want to dance and then you know she goes into the the trash can um and okay about the trolls they stole spongebob's punchline like there is an episode i really remember this episode because it's the funniest episode in my opinion and you know it's uh, it's uh squidward and talking to mr krabs and mr krabs is like oh well should i play you uh the uh smallest I, no, I'll play you the saddest song on the world's smallest violin and he legitimately takes out the smallest violin and it's so funny and in this emoji movie they, they had the balls to go you know the trolls um, they, they stole the punchline and said oh well should I play the, the your sad song on the world's smallest violin and I'm like fuck you 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 don't get the chance to um to steal that punchline nor should you even touch that punchline because you got no like segue into that punchline it was so stupid and the candy crush bro i'm just like really we're in 2017 and and we're still on about this Candy Crush world and okay th it was pretty interesting to see the Candy Crush world because I'm like oh okay so this is kind of like the Sugar Rush world in um, uh, Wreck It Ralph are they kind of gonna go do kind of that you know, and explore that areas a bit no they don't do that and I'm just like okay next scene I guess like I, I don't I don't I don't understand and you know I know I channeled my dick inner dicky right there but I'm just like what what the fuck just happened like okay so the main antagonist whatever is smiley and you know during the end spoilers again uh, during the end you know she's kind of being defeated and uh, we never see her again like we're just gonna like like forget about that. I'm just like, what what happened to her? Like, just 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 give, just give me a payoff. Like, what happened to her? And also Christina Aguilera's character. Uh, uh, did she just stay in the trash can? Yes. We we saw the the um, the like spool of rope just fall into tr the trash. Am I just gonna take it as like she's being deleted forever in that trash or is she just gonna stay in the trash because sometimes you know when users use the phone we don't really empty the trash can you know it's just there but also the the phone kind of deletes it after like one month or something like that so I don't know just give some payoff some some sort of more funny like you know if you're not gonna do a legitimately good romance slash drama or a drama uh dramans i call it you know whatever uh or a dramedy even uh, if you want to do it you know you should do a proper dramedy but you know it's trying to be more comedic i okay i understand that and tj miller can do some funny comedy you know i've seen and done it before you know and like gravity falls and like 
you know these type of like Seth Rogen comedies because you know he's he's a high you know he's um weed guy as well and I'm just like okay like give me more comedy then but they don't do that like I legitimately came out of this like okay so the lesson is to be more meh like <laughs> that's the lesson like I'm just like there was no single care and that's such a shame because like that is one singular question I I I keep asking myself like why do I care why do I care why do I care like even in Ogja like I was like okay yeah, I'm supposed to care I guess cuz corporations are bad everything is evil maybe I don't know the fucking plot is going everywhere you know they don't know whether to make the corporation bad or to give more attention to the pick and the girl which should be the 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 front line but you know we also have the ALF and then the, so you have the MacGuffin and you also have the, the grandpa and the the, the the other guy that's all like cool I know Sedox you know the, the, that guy who keeps going after them and then it's like I'm just gonna be really angry if I keep talking about Bokja but I'm not I'm talking about emoji movie <laughs> but I don't know why I'm talking about emoji movie I just decided to to watch this and I was just like okay I'll try to look for some good points and there is legitimately good points in this movie like the worlds that they create you know the um, the Facebook world, even they did, even if they didn't really go into that, uh, you know, it was pretty interesting to see the the um, like how they would take that, but they didn't go in, um, and you know, I, I was like, man, you know, if we would have gotten someone to say, okay, this is not really gonna be an emoji movie, it's gonna be like these, it's gonna be a. Uh, uh, look into the phone you know we're not really gonna do this romance thing and you know do not really the the romance thing but the double mirror romance thing because it's like Alex and um see I forgot the girl's name again Eddie and um Jean and the uh, the princess or the hacker girl I'm just gonna call her the hacker girl uh the hacker girl so that's the double mirror right there and um, you know you you could have done without that you know you could have done either you know the Alex and Eddie one or Jean and uh, Hacker Girl which which one w either one would have been fine but both didn't need to be there um, and by the way why why does Alex have a Just Dance app anyway like I, I guess you could argue like he's trying to prepare for the de like the fall dance and like that's just his way of trying to kind of try to dance I don't know I don't fucking know but you know I I have some you know girly apps as well you know the vis like it's usually visual graphic novel apps and I kind of like that like I kind of like romance stories like I said like if you have a guy trying to tell a girl that he likes her but can't because you know he's kind of shy and you know kind of doesn't know how to tell her because he's never done it before you've got me you've got me because I relate to that but they don't even do that properly like the main focus of this movie should be Alex like that's one of the things that is so disappointing because there are legitimate parts where I'm like this is just two separate movies that were just crammed together and like mashed into this mutant of a mu movie called the emoji movie and it's not even about the emojis like at some points it's about Alex and some points it's made it's really about those emojis and I'm just like what do I do with these two do I 
take the more on the emojis because it's the emoji movie but then what about Alex you know like that's always gonna be the question in this movie um I don't I don't even have much to say about this like I legitimately just wrote one page usually it's more than this usually I I, I talk about the bad stuff and I talk about the good stuff and I didn't even touch about the romance in this movie because they admit that they shoehorned it in like there was a part in this movie where uh, they're uh, just like um, you know they're walking uh, like you know and talking and then uh, Jean turns to high five and high five is like I think she likes you and Jean is like really and I'm like yeah no she does but that's just so obvious that you don't even care if you're doing it right like I was trying to give this movie good points and I can't because they missed out on the visuals which were fucking amazing by the way okay like Sony keep doing what you're doing with the CG because I'm just like this is are your animated you know sections I was like this is actually really well animated and well done you know I I I don't believe in emojis moving around but I'm just like I really love these you know structural worlds and the wallpaper I'm just like okay fine I like that uh, it's a generic wallpaper, but I'm just like, okay, whatever. Like, you know, you need a, you need a, you need a white background to kind of play off of that. I, I'm fine with that. Uh, you know, you, you, you got interesting characters, actually. You know, the, the thing about it is I wanted to know more about Jean. I wanted to know more about their parents. I wanted to know more about the, the, the poop and, you know, whatever. And, you know, this all reminds me of a Gravity Falls episode since TJ Miller was in a Gravity Falls show this all reminds me of Weird Mageddon like where, where we, we don't really know these people but we kind of know that it's part of Mabel or you know a part of the guy which they were trying so hard to do but they just failed in that area um I have nothing much to say. I can't really get into my own jamon and go really crazy about it and say, Oh my god, it's the worst shit I've ever seen in my life because I knew it from the trailer itself. I'm just like, this is not something that, you know, we need as a species, okay? This is not gonna be some magnum opus by a director this is not gonna be some script writer going oh, this is my genius on the screen emojis uh, this is not some producer saying oh man I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get my, my, my screenplay out there and like so many kids are gonna get these references because they, they're millennials and they're stupid because they so much money emoji movie we, we, we're not gonna be interacting much with the apps you know it's just there and um, you know it's even Spotify I was like okay you know we, I, I'm, I'm up for music and obviously they they do some generic music and then you know it's just uh, calm music uh, I I was just like okay this is, it's pretty nice I would have I would have liked if the the if they wanted to you know, beat you on the head with the romance thing. I think it would have been funnier if they played the um, the like the gondola gondola music when they were on the boat. You know, moving in the straight line. You know, it's just like da -da 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 and then you know, some guy like uh, uh, like a random figure of the Italian like gondola guy is like rowing the boat at the back of them. Um, and that's about it like i th i definitely think this movie is just very 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 simplistic i don't i don't think even kids will be like 
super entertainment is because like at, at some point you you gotta just like sit down and question your life which this movie is kind of making me do <laughs> it's like really like is this all we are like just cash grabs and you know like marketing tools because I don't I don't really want to be that but you know we kind of are like we kind of are becoming like a marketable whore that is kind of like you you can sell this you can sell this and you can you can sell this too and you can you know oh YouTube videos you know YouTube videos and oh you know you know you know Coca Cola uh, you know um, you know Facebook and you know WhatsApp and you know emojis uh, I don't know I don't know what else to say okay. I don't know what else to, to talk about the emoji movie. It's shit. It's just shit. It's it's perfectly represented. In fact, the shit emoji should have been the main guy, okay, to represent the movie. <laughs> okay, so that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my review of this movie, the emoji movie. Stay tuned for stationary emoji coming out 2018. Maybe 2019. We'll see. We'll see what uh, Hollywood does. Uh, but again, I'm waiting for Hotel Transylvania. That's that's actually something I'm really waiting for. Okay, so please bring me some good Hotel Transylvania. Cause the chart told me I'm gonna get more good Hotel Transylvania. Okay, so that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a like, and if you would like to see more, please share. And uh, I will be trying to do more Breaking Bad, but I'm not really sure yet. So, uh, see you guys in the next episode. See you then.